Hey guys, so today I want to just do a quick review of JavaScript destructuring, both array and um, object destructuring, uh, because it's becoming more and more commonplace, but it is a pretty tricky part of JavaScript, and uh, I just want to do a little review. So the data here that I have is um, just from JSON placeholder, and this is the users array, or the users data. And it's an array of objects, of user objects with nested user stuff. So uh, I'm not going to use any libraries um, because if I would, it'd be uh, Axios. But I just want to do um, basically a. Oh, let me just. Uh, oops, I want. Do, do, do. Resize. And then let's make this bigger. Boop, boop. All right, so what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I just want to use pure JavaScript, no libraries or anything. So all I did was just copy and paste data, but I separated it into a different file because it's just huge. So we're just going to work inside of this file. And I printed it out just to see that it works. So we, we could use Node without actually having a package JSON, which is nice. All right, so let's get rid of this. So first of all, um, uh, let's do the right half. And uh, first, it's an array. So we're just going to destructure all of the stuff inside of it. And you can just do this. Um, I'm going to do this. And uh, basically, it should output the same thing, which makes sense. And this is just the spread operator. But with array destruction, you could um, uh, do this. And it goes by the index of the array. So if we print out data one, it should be equal to this user, uh, Leanne Graham. And uh, yeah, which if we do, uh, we get that exact user. And then if we do, uh, come on, data two, we'll get the second user. And of course, if you want all the other users, you could just spread to get the rest. Um, but now we're going to do some other stuff. So inside the array, uh, we could actually destructure individual pieces of the user. I'm going to call it data for now. And uh, we're just going to, um, we'll get back to that. Um, so data, and let's get just the address. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Address? All right. I have to do this. And address. And this will get the address property, basically this part, of the first element because we're still inside of the array. So that uh, is basically what we're expecting. And then we could go even deeper. Um, so inside of the user object, we could get the, uh, what is this called? The geolocation. If we just open up another set of array brackets, geo, And that should give us the latitude and longitude. And then, of course, uh, with more destructuring, you get lat and longitude. Make sure you spell it right. Lat, longitude. And you get all the way into the thing. 
and you get the individual properties of the object. Now, the tricky thing is, with all of these uh, colons, you're actually going to discard the name here. So, I believe um, the geo variable is going to be undefined because it only exists inside of the destructure. Yep. So, the geolocation is not defined because it only exists inside of this destructure thing. And then also, um, if you don't have array brackets, uh, what's on the right side of this thing is actually an alias. So we can just call it location. Location. And, whoops, wrong button. We get the geolocation object, but it's under the name of location because we're aliasing it. We're giving it a different name. And this is useful for stuff like Axios, where you'll normally have, you'll normally destructure the data property from Axios, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then if you have multiple requests in a row, it would always be good to like rename which one. So like this is uh, response one, and then you would have the next one being data is response two, and so on. Um, all right, so I believe that covers most of array destructuring, or no, object destructuring, and the aliases. And remember that the left side is going to be discarded, but they all have to match the actual user object. And um, this part goes into TypeScript. Uh, so let's uh, let's save and then let's, um, change review.js to review.typescript. Blow this up. And da 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 da. Cannot read it. Whatever. Um, this might actually throw an error because I don't have a TS config in this directory but um, to to type the the de destructured object you would um, type it here with the interface and it's gonna have address here which is an object and I'm just do any for now and do, 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 that long. Geo, uh, right. We have to get the lat and the longitude because I'm doing a nested destructuring in here. And um, you could also type the inside. So this will be an interface with geolocation. Lat is going to be a number. Longitude is also going to be a number. And uh, this also is kind of um, gets a little gross. So this is where you would make an interface here. So interface, address. And if you follow convention, this is actually supposed to be uppercase. And just do uh, geolocation is going to be that number, longitude number. And as you can see, I would get um, did I get do something wrong? No, I did not. Um, right there. There we go. So it, you can get it a little more finite with your typing. So. We just do interface, user, address, address type, and then um, index, string, any. And you can just do, change this to the user object. 
and all of this is correct typing for inside of TypeScript. Uh, bu, 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 bu. I believe that's all there is. Um, I know that it can be confusing in doing all of this, and uh, but this hopefully clears up the nested destructuring stuff. And um, oh, one last note for clean code. If, in case you're working inside of a team, um, it's suggested not to go like this deep. It's really suggested to go only one level deep. And then on subsequent lines, you would also um, just, uh, what's it called? You would do separate destructuring on other lines, so then it's not as um, as confusing. Because uh, what what you call it? Uh, you could have stuff like this user data, and it just get way out of control. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, okay. I'll see you guys next time.